morning everyone today I'm gonna show you we're gonna make a nice summer sausage and it's gonna be a smoky pineapple onion sausage now we're gonna start off with some pineapple now I'm making a small batch of uh, sausage I'm not gonna make a lot of it so I've got about uh, half a small a small to medium pineapple that I cut in and this is a nice ripe pineapple if you could get your pineapple nice and sweet this is even better I'm gonna roast about half of it and if I have too much well you could always pop that pineapple in your mouth and not have anything go wasted it's gonna be delicious anyhow so we're gonna roast this in the oven until it gets nice and golden I'm gonna put it in a 430 430 oven my oven is a convection oven uh, so I think there's about a 25% difference but basically what you want you could even do this if you don't want to do it in the oven you could also do this in a pan on your burner just get them nice and golden if they're charred a little that's all right too because it's going to add to the flavor so we're going to put this in the oven and we're just going to drizzle just a little bit of olive oil on top we're going to crack a little bit of salt on this and we're just going to get this going and then when we're ready to make the sausage we'll have those nice and ready meanwhile while these go in the oven we're going to take one onion and we're going to cut them in cubes and we're going to just cook them in a pan till they're nice and golden and again it depends on how much you're making I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a small amount I guess maybe a cup a cup and a half of vital wheat gluten I'm just gonna dice it they don't have to be perfect guys I'm gonna cook them until they're almost candied and this is really gonna add a nice flavor to the sausage and what it does is also it breaks up the fibers of the uh, the gluten so it won't be so dense it'll be more of a nice tender sausage when you eat it because of the onions that's going to separate the gluten strands so i'm going to put this in a pan a small pan i don't need a big one there we go and we're going to put a little bit of olive oil and we're going to put just a little bit of maple for now we will be adding extra maple later to the meat but just enough that going to help our onions get nice and golden and let me tell you this is really really good so if you're doing summer barbecues we're just starting our summer year if you're doing summer barbecues this sausage is going to be a big hit for you i promise you we're going to add a little bit of steak. This is Montreal steak spice. Don't need a lot. We're going to put now, if you want it, with some heat. And if you don't want it spicy, leave the spice at all if you have kids. But this one here, I will make a nice little spicy one because this is going to be great for my husband's lunches too. Now, how much heat is really up to you guys. There we go. And I'm going to put just a little bit of liquid smoke to this and then I will add more liquid smoke to the uh, to my sausage. I'm going to be using a mesquite. If you have a different smoke that you prefer, you could go ahead with that. And it's going to be a nice smoky pineapple, almost like you're eating pineapple and ham. Okay, so I'm going to cut another half an onion why not who says that we have to limit ourselves right there we go i'm going to get them nice and candy because that's going to add a lot of flavor to our sausage and don't burn them just put them on a lower heat if you have to i'm lowering my heat and just get them nice and golden okay meanwhile what we're going to do is prepare our gluten there we go we're going to add one cup of vital wheat gluten there we go and notice my cups are never precise guys there's always like a little mound to it and we're going to add half a cup large flaked oats 
Whatever I do, guys, it's going to be marks. You want to cut this recipe in half, you can. This is what they look like. And this is one and a, one and a half onions. And they're getting nice and golden. I did put some chili, salt, and olive oil with some maple and some liquid smoke. Now, the, uh, the maple, what the maple does is actually it helps it get nice and golden. So there we go. They're almost done. I can actually turn that off. And we're going to put a quarter cup of the quick oats where they're nice and crushed. My onions are done. I'm going to leave these to cool off. My pineapple is cooking. Okay. Time to make more mushroom powder. Okay, so we've got one heaping. Two. Three mushroom powder. We're going to put one kind of heaping tablespoon of agar. That's going to help make our sausage nice and firm. I'm going to give this a good mix. Perfect. Okay, to this we're going to put, here we go, one tablespoon of Cajun spice. Now, you don't have to put Cajun if you want to use like a chicken, full chicken powder you can, or if you want to use beefless you can, it's really up to you. But we're going to make these nice and spicy. And again, if you're using Cajun and you don't want it too spicy, leave out the spice with the onions. But I am using one tablespoon. We're going to put two pinches of black pepper. And we're going to make some delicious sausage that you could throw on the grill in the summer. And your friends are going to be in awe. They're going to love, love, love these sausages. Okay, there's my onions last time just to show you how beautiful and transparent they are. And it is going to be delicious. We're going to put this in with our sausage. We're going to put a little bit of salt. And I'm going to see you in a little bit, guys. Once the pineapple is done and cooled off, we will add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so here are my pineapple. They're nice and golden. I love using my cast iron because it picks up all the flavors of whatever I cooked in there, such as potatoes, onions, garlic. So if you don't have a cast iron, guys, I suggest you get one because you will love it. Plus, cast irons give you also iron for your body. So there you go. They're nice and golden. These are going to cool off. And then I'm going to cut these up in tiny little pieces. And we're going to put our sausage together. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Okay, so we are back. There we go. There's our pineapple, our onion. Okay, we're going to take our... Let me just move this over. We're going to take our pineapple... And we are going to chop it right on this board. Let me just push this over for now. Right there. Sorry, guys. I'm always shaking you, right? Okay, so we're just going to chop it down. You don't want to make them too big, and you don't want to make them too small either. And that looks perfect for me because as we toss it it's gonna get broken up a little more so this looks good if you want to just give it one more shot don't over make it too don't make it too too tiny or too big there we go this looks good Okay, now, mm, my God, that's going to be good. Okay, I have my steamer ready. Now, if you don't have a steamer, uh, obviously you're going to use, um, if you don't have, sorry, I'm, I've got my pressure cooker. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you're going to use a steamer. Okay, there we go. Pineapples in. Get all those flavors in there. And we're going to add our onion. This is going to be really good. There we go. We've got onion along with whatever oil you have.
have that's in there that's oil maple just throw it all in we will add more oil now I know a lot of people are into not using too much oil but, but whatever juice pineapple juice then leave it out but a little bit of fat in the sausage is also going to brown your sausage nicely so it's not going to kill I am going to put on a glove and mix it by hand but for now I just want to give it a quick toss there we go now we are going to add extra maple to this because it's going to be kind of a Swedish not too sweet but it's going to be a little sweet but not too much either because you don't want to because the pineapple is sweet already you don't want to do uh, maybe I'll wait till I'm going to add some cheese first here we go and you can follow any of my cheese recipes this is my mozzarella but if you don't have any cheese handy I would say uh, just go out and buy it this is nice I had it in the freezer I defrosted it just for a little bit just so that it's easier to grate and there we go I'm telling you, you guys are going to love this recipe. We're going to add olive oil. I'd say about, oh, wrong olive oil. There we go. Not much. As you can see, there's hardly any in the bottle. So I would say one, maybe two, three tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to add just a little bit of maple maybe another two teaspoons of maple it's almost like a pineapple and ham sausage so we're going to add a little bit of mesquite Okay, now you don't have to. If you want, you can use your powder. It really is up to you. I'm doing this so it just can add a little bit of color. You don't have to. It also does add a little bit of flavor. You can leave it if you don't want to put the beet. Don't bother putting it in. And I'm using about half of a small beet. There we go. Not much. Just for that little added color to your recipe. And I'm grating it rather than putting it in the food processor or in my Nutribullet. There we go. And that's just going to add just a little bit of color to it. Pull up my sleeves. Okay, I'm just going to slowly mix this. see how it's already starting to add some color and to this we're going to add milk now I don't have any milk powder I am using just milk out of the carton of course vegan milk we're not going to hurt the cows you know I could have put the whole bead in here but I won't I'll just do half here we go okay so I'm going to try and tell you how much milk I use okay we're gonna start off with one third cup of almond milk and you don't want uh, vanilla milk make sure your milk is milk doesn't have any flavor and we're gonna just keep mixing I might be okay with that little bit maybe just a couple of drops more there we go You're going to love this sausage, guys, I promise you. Yeah, maybe I'll just grate a little more beet to this. Let's see, I'll do it right in the bowl. So play by ear with the beet, see how much you want, really. Okay. 
There we go. Okay, we're going to add some more liquid smoke to this for sure. And you know what the best part about vegan food? You could actually take a bit of it and taste it. Mm, God, this is going to be amazing, guys. You're going to love it. Okay. Liquid smoke. I would say maybe a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. As much as you like, guys. And that's it. All we needed was one third cup of one third cup of milk. That's all you needed. I would add definitely some more olive oil. There we go. And that's it. These are ready to be wrapped and to be cooked. Now, like I said, I am using a pressure cooker. But if you don't have a pressure cooker, just use a steamer. And if you don't have a steamer, you can wrap them and put them in your oven. But they will come out a little drier for sure. In the oven, I'm sure it's going to come out a little drier. You do not want to boil these. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap it. I'm going to use parchment paper because we're trying to stay away from plastic. Right, guys? Okay, that belongs in there. I forgot, guys. My head is not always working. Okay, a little bit of mustard. I'd say maybe a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half. There we go. And this is what you call my pineapple ham sausage. If you find it's too wet for you, you could always sprinkle a little extra gluten or a little extra uh, oat flakes. These should be perfect. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to push this aside. And we're going to wrap these. Now, you know how I wrapped them. I used to wrap them in plastic, but because now we're trying to do the best we can to not put plastic out on our planet, we are simply going to use parchment paper and then aluminum paper. Yes, people are telling me aluminum is bad too, but we need to hold these sausages together. I'd rather hold it with that than hold them with animals' intestines, right? I tried buying that casing. By the way, there's a casing. There's somebody who's selling casing, but uh, unfortunately, it always expands. The sausage always expands and then it breaks. So, so much for that. So, I'm going to take this parchment paper and I am going to divide it in smaller pieces. There we go. Oh, that's not going to work for me. Okay. I cooked potatoes with this yesterday, so. It's still good. Now, sausage is really up to you. How big do you want your sausage? Do you want a super big sausage about that size? Do you want to make them more like hot dogs? It really is up to you how big you want to make your sausage. So, I use a scooper. There we go, ice cream scooper. And then, here we go. I just form my sausage as big as I want. If you find it's too big, just knock off some on the end and there you go you can make them as small or as big as you want okay what I normally do guys now like I said this is what I do you are your own chef in your own kitchen right I do put a little bit of oil and what that does is it just helps the sausage do its little magic. So we roll them up. It's not the first time you've seen me do this. Knock it over this way, this way, roll it again, and then we use there we go. 
Roll, roll, roll. Squeeze on this end, twist, and then squeeze, squeeze, squeeze until you get it nice and firm, but not too firm because it will expand a little. There we go. Knock this over. And there is our first sausage. So there you go. There we go. Sausage number two. And try and get them as close to size as you can. Not that it makes a difference really if one sausage is bigger or one sausage is smaller unless you've got people in your family that says, well, why does she get more? Because they're so good that they're going to want more. I promise you. So I'm going to continue wrapping this and I'm going to put them in my steamer. I'm going to cook them one hour in my steamer. And uh, if you, uh, sorry, my pressure cooker, not my steamer. One hour in my pressure cooker. It could even go maybe 30 minutes and these will cook. Uh, and then I'm just going to let the pressure cooker do its own thing and release its own steam so it stays in there a little longer. Um, but if you're using uh, one of those Chinese uh, steamers, you know, the baskets that you can stack one on top of the other, you can use that. But make sure they steam for at least 60 minutes. I might do only 30 in here because it's a pressure cooker. But in a steamer, you want to do at least 60 minutes, guys. And that's how you're going to make these sausages. Maybe that sausage is for me. So, okay, how many do we get? We've got two, three, five. Yeah, I, eight sausages. Eight sausages and a little tester. So there we go. I'm going to put them to steam. So what I do is once they're cooked, and if you've made like double the batch or you've made way too many sausage, I just get a small plastic bag and... Um, and I don't bring home plastic bags. These are bags that I wash or those uh, plastic bags that I get the flyers from, which I can't seem to stop. They seem to come to my door all the time. But I just mark uh, either apple sage on it or uh, pineapple and onion cheese. And then I just throw them in with the aluminum paper right into the plastic bag, tie it, mark it, date it, however you want to do it, and then in the freezer. And if you have a craving and you want to eat a sausage and you don't want to pull out a whole bunch you just pull out one and then let it defrost and you've got sausage for lunch or whatever very easy to store so i am going to cook these and then i'm going to come back and show you how they look like okay guys we're back here we go there we go we're going to unwrap these and i'm going to show you what they look like Beautiful, beautiful sausages. I'm going to save the paper and wash it. This way I can reuse it again. I know, call me cheap, but I'm thinking about the planet. I just have to find out where the beginning is. Here it is. And there is our beautiful sausage. Now I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them in a pan. And we're going to get them nice and golden. And then we're going to put them in some buns. So how fast and how easy was this recipe? So there you go guys, just serve this maybe with some corn on the side, a nice salad, and that is dinner. So I hope you like this video guys, and if you give this a try, come back, let me know how you like it, and stay tuned 
because I'm going to have more sausage. Summer sausages, guys. You're going to love them all. See you in my next video, guys.